Hello and welcome back to Let's Build a Space Station, episode 2. Now, last episode we started to build this central hub and one of you gave me the very good idea of using lamps to light it up, which I liked a lot. So I decided to do that, I picked green lamps because I'm planning on having a sort of energy core running through this space station that will be green, so I thought the green lamps made sense. But on their own they looked a bit out of place, so I also added some coppery, browny, orange coloured blocks, linking them all together, which I actually liked, giving it a bit more detail. But that is only a little bit of extra I wanted to do this episode. The main thing I wanted to focus on is the ring around the outside of this sphere that will focus on the main way to connect the main sphere to all the outer discs that are actually put on screen now, the image that we're basing this off from, I believe it was from a Star Trek episode, though I myself haven't seen it so I can't be definite about that. But those outer discs and the main sphere need to be connected in some way and that will be by this walkway. So I started off by doing an outer and an inner ring that surrounded the um, the main sphere. I use the internet to get out the size for this to make sure it would be perfectly spherical and I looped this round the whole thing in the steel blocks that we are using for our m main wall segment. So after looping this all the way round I had to design what would be sort of the cross section of our walkway. So I brought it down a bit and then decided that rather than making it just a sort of donut shape, I wanted it to be thicker at the top to make it just that bit more unusual. And when I actually looked at it against the sphere, it was a bit too high. So I lowered it and then I set about deciding how I would decorate it with different blocks. So I did not want to do the whole thing and then tear most of it down to make it all right. But as I decided to move the whole thing down a level, it meant I also had to move down the steel blocks unfortunately, so that was a little bit annoying. I then went around with reinforced glass to start making the windows. You can see me starting to repeat this again on the other side. Here we go. So I again moved down the steel block ring by one and then followed round with the reinforced glass. Now I had to do this for quite some time because there was a lot of, I wanted this whole segment to have a complete panoramic view so that you could look off and see maybe some distant planets, maybe some spaceships that would be around near, maybe even docking on the station. It could be something that we will build later on in this Let's Build that could be very, very interesting. On the inside I decided to edge the outsides with that coppery browny orange block and then I would fill one block beneath with steel for the outside but I would level off inside for a flooring so that it doesn't dip down. But yes, going back to the overall aim of this let's build, last time I asked you guys to give me suggestions for inside the Hannah. I think I'm still, I haven't done it this episode, but that's still something I'm going to come back to shortly, the interior of that big sphere. So I want you guys to let me know what you think and if you have any ideas. At the minute, I'm thinking it will probably be built up rooms and housing for the people of the space station. I'm thinking I'll probably have a big open area in the sort of level with this ring. And there will be an energy core running up through the center so that everything will sort of be attached to the sides looking down onto this. So it will make it seem a very open in the center large structure which is what I want. Anyway yes so I just finished the floor in there and then went back along with reinforced glass. Because with the shape I wanted that wasn't spherical I wanted the walls to slant outwards as they got higher up the rim, so that meant bringing out the reinforced glass by one block before I brought up the next two layers. So you can see me shooting around doing it on that side and then just repeating the exact same thing as it turns to night time. It's very, I like it being night time 
when I'm building this. Normally I would switch it to day, but I think the star effect is really fitting for this project, this space station that we're planning to build. So I'd never bother getting rid of it when we're filming this. So yes, again, raising it up another layer and bringing it out by one block to complete the panoramic view that you'll get as you walk along this walkway. So then I needed to do the roof and this was kind of curved. It was one block brought in and then another block brought in and finished at the top, just joined up. So it's not a complete point, it's more of a curve. So as you can see, I go about with the steel blocks again, the main block we're using across this build. But with the roof I planned, I wasn't sure whether I should have one Rin green light that runs all the way around or whether it would be better to have sort of dashes so maybe three green lights, three black, three green, three black so that it didn't appear as one continuous line. In the end you'll see soon, actually here I am, I'm leveling off the floor as I said before. I'm using a new block, I can't remember actually the name of this block but I like the white clean effect almost as if it was a metallically polished material. I thought that was very nice, so I decided I'd use that for the floor, and that'll some, probably be something I keep consistent throughout this Let's Build as a theme, so let me know what you think about that, because I'd rather know now and change it while I only have one ring to replace, rather than trying to redo the whole thing. But yes, in the end I decided to go for a single continuous green light on this, and you'll see at the end how that looks, and you can let me know what you think it would have been better with or without. Now, next time, I think the plan is going to be building a connection at the four sort of corners, if you will, of our big sphere centre to this walkway, and maybe even starting to build one of our sphere more specialised sections of the space station, and we'll have to think about what we want those to be. So again, I want this to be a really interactive let's build, I want you guys to have an input in what you want to see. So let me know what you want to appear on this space station, and we'll make it happen guys, because it's going to be a joint thing, it's not just you watching me, I want you to be thoroughly involved in what goes on here. So yes, here I am, finishing off the roof, going around with the green lamps now, as you can see the continuous block. I had a problem with it not actually lining up as it did on the straights for distance, so I decided to make the green light at most a one block thick in a continuous pattern and then fill in any gaps on the inside lane with the black material. And there's me just running around doing that now. I then jumped inside and decided that I would light this with one red alloy wire that ran all the way around because I think it's quite cool to have the wires sort of jutting around like this. I think that looks pretty nice effect when you're walking down the corridor to add a bit of depth to the build. So guys, there we go. We now have as you can see, our completed ring around our space station. This is going to be the main connector between what we go on to build in the future and the main spherical hanger. It, it may look a bit massive and dwarf in that middle section at the moment, but we will be expanding in the future, so don't worry, it will all fit in the end. So, I've been Steve. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for support. I think 11 of you commented on the last video and that's great because I really want your input on this. So let me know what you think and I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye.